Hello everyone. So today's video is about how to protect your hair while swimming. So those who know me know that I am a living, breathing mermaid. I live for swimming. When I go down south, go home to Barbados, the first course of action is getting to the beach. But there are a few things that I do to protect my hair and have really increased the health of my hair. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss anything here. All right, let's get right into this. How to protect your hair while swimming. So these tips really work for me. As I always say, think critically about what you consume here on YouTube and make sure that these tips both fit into your lifestyle and make sense for you. So these tips have really served me well over the past few years and I find my hair is much more soft and manageable when I implement these things. So number one, I won't swim in chlorinated pools. They are just not for me. We have this beautiful like sports flex up the street from us and when I walk the dog, when I walk by, you can smell the bleach from outside and I just feel like, <laughs> It's just so bad for your hair and your skin. So, you know, I've got lots of friends with in-ground pools and when I go to a pool party, I will whip up my hair into a bun or a cute twist and I will not submerge my hair in that pool. Yes, I am that high maintenance diva, but girl is not trying to break off all of her hair after one day in somebody's chlorinated pool. It just is so drying and so rough on your hair. Yeah, I just won't do it. But the same doesn't go for saltwater pools. I find salt water is more gentle on your hair. It's not great, but at least it's not, you know, soaking in bleach. So tip number two, you know, your hair is like a sponge but can only absorb so much. So I followed that advice. Every time I go swimming in the ocean or a saltwater pool, I will rinse my hair. I will drench my hair in clean water in the shower and then head down to the beach or the pool. With this thinking, I feel that your hair is less likely to absorb all that salt water, therefore shielding it a bit from damage. So tip number two, after I soak my hair with clean water, I will apply conditioner. So you guys know that Aussie Three Minute Miracle is my jam. It doesn't contain protein. It is super gentle on hair, does a fantastic job at deep conditioning, and it's really inexpensive. I pay like $4.99 a bottle for this stuff at, you know, the drugstore, the grocery store, you name it. So after I rinse my hair with clean water in the shower before heading to the beach or the pool, I will coat my hair with this conditioner. I'll really work it into my hair so that it doesn't look like I have a bunch of white conditioner in my hair at the pool or the beach, but I feel like it really works to protect my hair, to act like a barrier against salt water. Some people are on the fence about this method, you know, if you're swimming in a rough ocean or something, won't it all get washed out? Maybe, but I feel it really works for me. I've been doing this for the past 10 years or so, and I feel that my hair is so much softer, so much more manageable, and it's easier to detangle when I apply a layer of conditioner before swimming. So, I don't know. Whatever it takes to protect my hair, I will give it a try. It really does work for me. Tip number three, after I am done swimming, so when I'm at the resort and swimming and having a great time and then it's time to go to the pool bar for yet another tequila shot, I will rinse my hair at the outdoor showers. I was lucky. I was in the Dominican Republic recently and our gorgeous resort had these beautiful outdoor showers, but yeah, after swimming, I will jump in that shower and rinse out my hair and then add a little bit more conditioner. I don't care. I'll go through liters of conditioner in my lifetime as long as my hair still looks healthy and is healthy. I don't really like getting out of the pool or getting out of the ocean and then, you know, lounging around and letting my hair air dry. I feel like it gets really crunchy that way. If there are no outdoor showers, if there is no clean water anywhere to rinse out my hair, I will suck it up and just put some conditioner on it. Sometimes I'll just add conditioner from the mid-length of my hair to the ends, 
so that, you know, I'm not going too overboard, but yeah, I will do whatever it takes to just protect that moisture barrier of my hair. I'm in and out of the pool, in and out of the ocean constantly, out of, you know, a beach day or a pool day, and yeah, I will try to rinse my hair every time I get out of the pool. It does sound a little labor intensive, but uh, that's the cost when it comes to relaxed hair. So I think that's another good tip right there. Tip number four, I will put my hair in a bun. Especially if I'm on a beach and it's windy, if I put my hair in a bun, I feel like my ends are protected and they're not getting whipped around by the wind or drying out. So I will add a little conditioner and then throw my hair up into a bun. You can use, you know, a leave-in conditioner as well whatever works for you. So yeah, the wind can really sap your hair of moisture. Try to keep your ends tucked away while you're at the beach. Okay, so tip number five, bring a hat. The sun beating down on your hair all day combined with going swimming and drying out, it's just, it's like a double whammy. It's like the perfect storm for dry damaged hair. So um, I will bring a baseball hat, a straw hat, what have you, and you know, after I've gone swimming and rinsed my hair and added a little conditioner, I will whip it up and put a hat on. And I feel like both my hair is protected from the wind and my face and hair are protected from the sun's harmful rays. I like this hat a little better. I should have started with this instead of my husband's Iron Man hat. <laughs> Isn't this fabulous? Like I splurged on this. Well, splurge, it wasn't too expensive. It's from Lack of Color. And I bought it because it's cute and scalloped, but you can tie it so it doesn't blow away in the wind. It came out really handy. <laughs> okay, sorry, my hair is a mess now from trying on hats, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. These tips have really helped me over the years. As somebody who travels a lot and preferably to warm destinations, these tips have totally saved my hair on swim days. If you have any additional tips, like how you protect your hair when you go swimming, please drop them in the comments. I love the community that I have created here. We all share tips in the comments. It's really, really helpful, not just, you know, for you, but for everybody watching this channel. So if you enjoyed this video and learned something from it, please give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me as well on TikTok and Instagram. I will put my handles right here. I love you guys and I really appreciate the support. Have a glorious day.